What's going on y'all, Forever here. Back with another discussion. Got a painting in the back called Love Thyself, man. Yes, sir. I'm by myself today, Love Thyself. I thought it would be good for three of me. Me, myself, and I. Oh, that was hard. <laughs> nah, but for real. Got a little painting for y'all behind me. Um, I just want to discuss it, you know, where it came from how I arrived to this thing, where I'm at in my journey, in my art journey and in life, you know, because life is art, art is life. I got a lot of things going on outside of art as well, business and personal, family, all that good stuff. We're going to tie it all into this painting today. To start off, the title, Love Thyself, where does it come from? It comes from me not loving myself, putting others before me. You know, not really taking care of myself and doing the things I need to do on a daily basis. I've been working on my daily schedule. I've been working on getting up on time, working to go into bed. Cause some nights I didn't go to bed, I would just stay up. I'm working on not wasting time. I'm working on being productive. You know, all that good stuff. Me working on me is me loving myself. And that's the definition of loving yourself. Just wanting yourself to be the best you that you can possible. And Putting yourself first. I know it's hard to do sometimes. You know, we have family, we have friends, we have other people in our lives that are very important, but we have to be the most important, as in self has to be more important than all of that, you know? Because at the end of the day, when you die and you're going in that grave, you're the only person going in there, yourself. So you have to learn to love yourself for your next journey and even in this journey. If you can't love yourself, how can you love somebody else? If you don't have happiness, how can you spread happiness or how can you have positive energy? So it's all coming to self. I wanted to preach positive energy in this too and negative energy. I mean, it's definitely a balance. Too much positivity will cause delusion. I've heard that before. Shout out to uh, Joe Rogan. I watched that show. Happiness comes from within. So make sure that you're happy. Make sure that you're doing the things to take care of yourself. Exercising every day, that's huge too. Shout out my man, Train Like Kane, but really got me on track as far as just working out and making sure I'm good day to day. You know, I've been running in the mornings and the days I don't do the Fit Factory, which you can check that out on my uh, Instagram page, 43VXR. The days I don't do that, I try to work out before I go run, but it's getting comfortable doing things that you don't want to do to actually be uncomfortable. You know, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because comfortability is just you running back to somewhere because it feels right. And even though it might not be right for your life, it feels good. Just like me, I'm not a perfect person. I've done things in my past that I'm not proud of or I'm not ashamed of either. So, you know, I'm, I'm an open book. If you ask me, I'm pretty open, but I have to merge who I was and who I'm becoming and make me. That's why I'm sitting in the middle. In the middle of all this, to the painting. What, if, what, why? Why this painting? You know, why love thyself? Why paint it like this? Everybody has a dark side and everybody has a, I don't want to say a light side, but a positive side. 